I make sculptures that collage cultural references together and I, I tend to employ digital technologies and processes to calculate the form. Afterwards I revert to traditional crafts, for example bronze casting or carving in marble. The idea of where an idea comes from is really fascinating because ideas don't come from thin air. Our unconscious tends to filter and process things that we see, that we observe in the world around us. And in my sculptures, I want to have that same process, a process of transparency. So the viewer will see fragments of my inspiration and then build their own stories. Typically with a public commission, you're given a set of narratives to choose from. And I chose the narrative of Westminster. But then equally important is the physical site where the sculpture is going to be placed in terms of its architecture and its scale and its material. It's a really interesting site for a sculptor. It's a pedestrian passage and I wanted to create an object which would really inspire conversation as people walk past it and ebb and flow and, and live and function in the area. The mode of production for this sculpture is really exciting, almost magical. We digitally unrolled the 3D sculpture into an enormous flat surface. Then there are two steps. We laser cut out the figurative component, and then afterwards roll that flat surface back into the three-dimensional object. So the most exciting part of the process is craning the sculpture into sight. And for the first time, you see the artwork within the context of the architecture. One of the real challenges with this sculpture was just trying to make it stand up. Six and a half tons of Corten steel are balancing on these three legs in a single line. It was uh, an engineering feat. So the sculpture has two sides to it. There's an equestrian statue, which is Richard the Lionheart, a 12th century king. And it's intersected with a line from literature, from a novel called Tristram Shandy, which is by Lawrence Stern in the 18th century. The net effect of these two components is a sculpture which is immediately recognisable from one angle, but then quite beguiling from the other. I hope the sculpture will invite conversation. It's not intended to be didactic. Perhaps pose some questions about images of representation, patriarchy, public sculpture in the public realm, but also speak about traditional sculptural ideas of form and balance, dynamism and lyricism. <laughs>